Hello, 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 Kevin Epps here, Digital Brilliance Hour, bringing you another tutorial. In the beginner and intermediate courses, we went over models and the different model types. We also learned that specific model types are designed for specific purposes, right? We focused on player, enemy, item, and obstacle models. But there are a few more that we will go over in this lesson. So let's make sure that we have the manual and OpenBOR stats open. We'll look at these models. We have the non-typed, text, panel, and NPC. So let's start with none. A non-typed model is a model that can be used for anything. They're meant to be all purpose. So that means they can be used for any situation they're needed for. They can be used for projectiles, weapons, and even model transformations. So here's two examples of how non-typed models can be used. So in our first example, I have one of our products, Ogre's Mayhem, loaded up into OpenBOR stats. I'm looking at the non-typed models. You can notice names like transformation, shots, charges, blast, etc. Many different effects that are used for other purposes. Let's open up the spirit gun model real quick. In the character details area, we can see that it's a non-typed model with other parameters assigned like shadow that's set to zero, remove, and even alpha. If you want to know more about what those are, make sure to use the manual or the help area. I always use that. And it only has an idle animation, as you can see, so it looks like it's used as a projectile. For any model that isn't an enemy or a player, their default animations are all assigned to the idle animation. Something to keep in mind. Also notice the speed attribute. This controls how fast or slow the projectile will move. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our other example here. Uh, we're gonna open up Ichigo Transformation. Here, you can see that it's designed like a player model, but its type is set to none. A model like this is used as a model swap, weapon, or transformation. All right, so that's enough about non-typed models. Let's go into text models. If you've played Ochre's Mayhem, you know that at the beginning of each stage, there's a ready animation that's shown where everything else is paused. No other models can move around during this time. So we go back to OpenBOR stats. If we look at the stage one level and the spawn list, you should notice the spawn of a model called Ready. This model is a text model. And when we load it up in OpenBOR stats, you can view how it looks. And again, as you can see, there is an idle animation set on it. It's the defy animation for any model. All right, next let's look into panel models. These models can be used as different layers in a level. A perfect example of that are the tutorial panels that are loaded up in the training game model. While there are even more models, we'll focus on one more. And those are NPC models. These are models that move on their own AI. You can control who they attack and how they move. They are built like a player and an enemy, but are only controlled by artificial intelligence. Let's go ahead and pull up the Naruto clone in OpenBOR stats. And as you can see, it looks just like a player. It only has a different model type. And you can see who can it uh, who can it attack. And you have all these different attributes and parameters. Again, make sure to use your manual to find out what these are. And that's it. And as I stated, there are even more models but these are the biggest ones to know about. I encourage you 
encourage you, I implore you to learn more about all the models. Again, hopefully this was helpful to you. I appreciate your time and listening through this lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Again, it's Kevin Epps. I hope you stay blessed and stay brilliant. Peace. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin, appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.